This is by far the easiest way to unlock Opal Camo for all the weapons in Black Ops 6 Zombies. And for this to work, we're going to be playing Directed Mode on Liberty Falls. So, the first thing you want to do is stay in the spawn until you have over 7,500 essence. The round will be lots at 3, so keep killing zombies until you've got over that. Then you want to take this route towards the church and make sure that you don't go the other route or open this door that leads to Juggernog. By doing this, it means that the rounds are going to go by a little bit faster and that really helps when you've got 33 weapons to grind. Now, once you get to the church, buy the door to enter and make your way to the middle to trigger the checkpoint. You can activate the machine to start the easter egg but it doesn't really matter if you don't and it won't change anything for this strategy. Then you can take the zip line over to the roof of the bank building and this is where you want to be to make the strategy work. The round limit will now be set to 11 so you want to keep killing zombies, gathering points and upgrading your gun until you hit the round. The wonder fizz machine will also be available here so if you've got some spare cash I would recommend buying whatever perks help you out. However make sure to prioritise packer punching your gun at least once first and upgrading the rarity as it's going to be necessary once round 11 hits. While on this roof, just make sure that you don't open the ascender going down to the street that the bowling alley is on and make sure that you don't open the door to the side that lets you jump down to where one of the projectors is. If you do this, it'll still work, but it means the zombies will take a bit longer to climb up onto the roof and it'll slow the whole process down. So once round 11 does hit, this is when the manglers are going to start spawning. The way this strategy works is that the round never goes past 11, but endless waves will spawn and each time that they do, a mangler will spawn from this window. The challenge for Opal on every single weapon in the game is to kill 30 special zombies, which is of course the manglers. Here you'll have an endless supply of them and it means that you can get it done much easier than by just doing a normal playthrough. Now when you do enter round 11 for the first time, it may be a vermin round, but don't worry that's completely fine, just complete the wave and the normal zombie one should start a few seconds after. Now there is a chance that when you're doing this you won't get a mangler every single wave, but if this does happen then I found it's best to just save and exit and then rejoin that game. Your progress will be saved and it usually fixes the problem and gets them spawning every single time. As you kill more and more zombies you can keep up upgrading your weapons and armor and that makes this strategy insanely easy. If you like you can also open the zip line leading to the spawn room and sit there but just be careful because I tried this and when I wasn't paying attention it almost got me down. So I did these eliminations in one game and it only took about 40 minutes which when compared to getting to around wave 35 normally for the manglers is such a huge time save. You can also expect to get roughly 35 zombies per round so it's a great way to also level up your weapon. But yeah that's pretty much the method I've been using to get these camo challenges done and it's made it so much easier. If you guys want to see a video helping with the afterlife and the nebula grinds too then let me know by dropping a comment on the video leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you're new but anyways thanks for watching the video i hope you found it useful and i will see you all later